The body of Mr. Gat will be a message for all who oppose the Syndicate. There is no mercy, only death. Don't mourn your friend. You'll be joining him soon. Loren's gonna pay for this. Ugh. Scrub a ride and figure out where we are. Steelport. It's kind of like Bangkok's abusive father. So you've been here before? Spring break. This where Field Boss comes from? What the hell is it? You don't want to know. I'd be like that. So where are we going? Look, I was really high the last time I was here. Just drive. It'll come back to me. I feel naked without a gun. Why don't you... Just look up friendly fire on your phone. Come again? It has GPS, right? Check your map. Call Pierce and fill him in. I texted him. He's bringing the crew. Any ideas how we can wrangle up a couple hundred guns? Yeah, we raid the guard armory. That's why I count on you, hon. You can't be serious. They have more than enough to go around. What's to worry about? Getting shot comes to mind. Bullets? Whatever, I dove through a moving plane. Also a shitty idea. Way to channel Pierce. It's very natural sounding. Not cool. You been hanging out a lot? Going on some dates, picking up play settings? All right, all right. We'll pick a fight with the military. That's my girl. Wow, that still exists? Huh? That's where I used to score weed. Coming here for spring break means you gotta know someone here. Yeah, I keep up with one of my exes. This place big at all? I already offered it to Pierce and the boys. You kind of dodged the question. I know. The celebrity of the Third Street Saints was put to a violent and destructive test in Stillwater. Patrons of a local bank were subjected to a mock holdup by this internationally popular gang. However, excitement was replaced with panic when shots rang out and blood began to decorate the lobby. During the ensuing fire... That's where I had my first... Um, on second thought, that one's kind of personal. The, the extent of the damage... Here's the cash I have on me. How far is the armory? Not far, it's on the GPS. some hellish children's book, the sky has fallen in Steelport. Ten people are dead after several cars came raining out of the sky, crushing an apartment building in a fiery blaze. Dozens of bodies, along with a number of crates and mangled vehicles, filled the streets nearby. Looters raided the scene before the police arrived, salvaging car stereos and sex dolls from the debris. The city morgue has not released the names of the victims killed in what seems to be a mid-air accident, and no plane wreckage has been found. This is Jane Valderrama with your Steelport Disaster Report. This week on Nightblade, reeling from the loss of his wife, Nightblade seeks vengeance and unleashes a... All right, the gun should all be in that warehouse. Perfect. What's the plan to move it all? Maybe you should have thought about that before attacking an armory. Okay, fair, but it's a real good question. Don't worry, Pierce has that covered. Mr. X leaves a trail of destruction where no man is safe. Oh. Looks like they don't want to invite us in. Shooting them probably doesn't help change their minds.
Jeez, look at the size of that thing. Bet that's a hell of a way to end a gunfight. Let's take it with and find out. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, you're serious, aren't you? Cash and these look like UAV drone controls over here. Did you really say look like UAV drone controls? Okay, is this really the time? Hey, you're the one who said it.
We're all set. Give him the chopper. Whatever you say. So what's next? What's next is you go back to Stillwater. What? No, this is my fight too. Girl, you don't get messy. Let us take care of business. Fuck you. I'm doing this for Johnny. All right, well, if we're going to bring in the boys, we're going to need a new place. You're worried about real estate? We have guns. Let's use them. Relax, Shandy. We got it all covered. <laughs> 